Canada's environmental reputation took another beating today at the European Parliament. EU politicians gathered to slam the oil sands, all part of a push to label that brand of crude as dirtier than the rest. Our Europe bureau chief Sean Mallon is in Brussels with more on what the dirty label could mean for Canada. Uh, the other irreversible effect that I... It's rare to see a product from Canada so vilified on the international stage. Experts, both American and Canadian, told a forum at the EU Parliament that oil sands development has to be stopped because of the damage it does to the climate. So we just can't do this. It doesn't, from a strategic standpoint, it doesn't make any sense. How could you be thinking about expanding it, about going from its current level of 2 million barrels a day to 4 million barrels as they're planning? The EU is in the final stages of deciding whether to implement a fuel quality directive, a measure that would impose a tax on crude from the oil sands, labeling it as a bigger contributor to climate change than other sources. Canada has been lobbying hard to head it off, even threatening a complaint with the World Trade Organization. But the bureaucrat leading the charge in Europe says we should not feel slighted, that it's just intended to put a price on carbon. I have to say to our Canadian friends, I hear the argument is still being repeated now and then as if it's targeted specifically towards Canada. Of course it is not. In the audience, Alberta's top representative in Europe, who's been trying to argue that other, dirtier oil is being ignored, while Canada is being unfairly singled out. And those who are truly interested in making an informed decision are more than happy to hear a more balanced uh, element to the dialogue. All that said, though, this vote is still in play, yes? It is. It is indeed. Things can move slowly and unpredictably through the giant bureaucracy here, but a key report on the measure is due within weeks and perhaps a vote by summer. Despite Canada's best efforts, those who would tar oil sands crude are passionate, well-organized, and think they have the support to get it through. Donna?